Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to explain how the repayment scheme works of an annuity loan. This is a part of the book Buying and Working, which is for three half old video, and it is dealt with in chapter three. This is for the bilingual pupils. There is a version in Dutch as well for Dutch pupils. This is especially for JTO children. All right, so uh, annuity loan is a special kind of loan because in this loan you pay both interest and repayment, which is not very special in itself. But the fact that those two added up is always the same amount every year. So what you do is you pay the bank a certain amount, the annuity, every year, every period, uh, and that is always the same and it consists of both interest and repayment of the loan. So I'm going to show you how to fill in this table. So the first thing that you have to do is determine what the height of the loan is. In this case, the loan is 8,000 euros. So you fill this in at the debt at the beginning of the first year, 8,000 euros. So after you did this, you have to determine first what the interest is. So the first step you take every year, in this case, is calculate the interest. Well, how do you do this? You say the debt at the beginning of the year multiplied by the interest rate, in this case per year as well. So you say 8,000 euros multiplied by 8% gives us 640 euros. The second step you take is calculate the repayment. How do you do this? You know that the annuity consists of both interest and repayment. We now know what the interest is, so we know that the rest of the amount consists of repayment. So what we do is we take the annuity and subtract the interest, which gives us 2,400 64.27 euros. The third step we have to take is determine the debt at the end of the year. So that's the only blank left. This is kind of tricky because a lot of pupils, they take the debt at the beginning of the year and then subtract the annuity, which is wrong because the annuity consists of both repayment and interest. And interest doesn't affect the height of your loan. So if you pay interest, it doesn't affect the height of your loan. Only repayment can affect the height of your loan. So what you do is you take the debt at the beginning, subtract the repayment, and then that leaves you with 5,535.73 euros. Yes, so what you do is the debt at the beginning, minus the repayment gives you the debt at the end. If, you, if you've done this, then you have to transfer the debt at the end of year one to the debt at the beginning of year two, because what you end with in year one, you start with in year two. So, 5,535.73 euros. Then you start all over again with the three steps you have to take. Calculate the interest. The interest was the debt at the beginning of the year multiplied by the interest rate. So 5,535 euros 73 multiplied by 8% gives us 442.86 euros. Then we continue with step two, calculate the repayment. The repayment was our annuity minus the interest. So, 3,104.27 minus 442 euros gives us 2,661.41 euros. Then the annuity. That's an easy one because that remains the same throughout 
the course of your loan. So we can fill it in, might as well fill it in for year three as well, because it's going to stay the same. So, debt at the end of the year. So that's how we do this. Debt at the beginning, minus the repayment, leaves us with 2,800. 2,874 euros and 32 cents. This we transfer to this year as well. So 2,874.32. Step one again. It's a bit boring, doesn't it? But we have to go through it. So step one again. The interest, 8%, multiplied by the debt at the beginning of the year, gives us 229.95. Then, determine the repayment, the annuity minus the interest, 2,874.32. And now we see something special because that is exactly the debt at the beginning of the year. So that leaves us at the end of the year with zero. So we fully repaid our loan. And what we see now is that the interest keeps getting smaller and smaller. That is because we repay the loan every year, which means that the debt here becomes smaller. And if the debt becomes smaller, the interest amount gets smaller as well, which leaves more room for repayment. So we see the repayment going up, interest going down, goes up exponentially, goes down exponentially as well. So now we've done this, we can easily add up the interest here and determine how much interest we paid at the end, so in total. There's another way to do this as well, and that is very handy when it comes to annuity loans which take more than three years, so for example 30 years to repay. Then there's an easy way to calculate how much interest you paid in total, because everything that you pay the bank more than you actually borrowed can be considered interest. So everything that you pay the bank more than you actually borrowed is interest. So what did we pay the bank? Three times 3,100 euros. So three times the annuity gives us 9,312 euros and 81 cents. That's the amount that we totally paid the bank. The amount that we borrowed is 8,000 euros. So we paid 1,312 euros and 81 cents more than we actually borrowed. So that is the interest. So interest is easily calculated. Everything that you pay more than you actually borrowed is interest. Yes, so if they want you to calculate the interest, don't go using the 8%. Just imagine everything more than you loaned is interest. So, Hopefully you understand a bit better now how the repayment scheme of an annuity loan uh, works. Uh, please check me out for further videos, which will be in English as well for TTO pupils, and I hope to see you soon.